Hey everyone, how are you doing? My name is Martin. Welcome back to another Let's Play episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. And let's see what we're going to do. We have to talk to the Miller because he saves our saved our butts. And we're going to do the quest Awakening. We have to go to Perkstein to see Sir Hansik and get our things from the trunk. Let's do that first because we're not dressed and we're hungry as well. So let's fix that first. There we go. And I'll just take everything and let's dress ourselves and then we'll see. This looks so silly. I don't even think I'm gonna wear that. And let's see. Um Yeah. Don't have one of these and can use one of them. Let's see, I think this is in better condition. We don't have that. That's in good condition, but it's not what I want. I want to have more like a sneak type character. So I think we will do it for now with this stuff. Let's see. Um, got some food. Oh, we have some food here as well. Uh, let's eat. Let's eat all of this. Also it goes to waste. That didn't do much though. All right, got some sage to sell. Great. Let's see. Yeah, we're really hungry. So we have to talk to the miller as well. And we're going to do that first. Teach ourselves some lock picking. And we probably owe him some stuff for taking care of us. So let's see what we can do in this episode, right? All right, let's talk to him first. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else and not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught, why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? <laughs> no honorable man should well. touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right. But somewhere else, I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik Kohelnitz Miller had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ, you want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. <laughs> Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat, 
The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Okay, um, hang on. We're not done. Let's do some, uh, teach us some lock picking. Fire. I'm on the PC, so that works. But if you're on the console, you're pretty screwed. So I heard. Hold the lock pick in your right hand. All right. Use it to feel out the tumbler. In your left hand, you hold the blade. There is it. Got it? There Good. it is. Now turn the whole lock with the blade. Please don't release. Stop the Thank you. The you forced it and broke the lock pick. I can't believe I actually broke it on the first try. You have to You're a dab hand have. I've done that <laughs> pretty a lot of times, but it's a bit finicky in the first time. Um, if you open it, and you close it. Right. Right, it goes to lockpick again. So you can do that up to nearly level three. So let me do that. All right, that's it. Let's see. Um, so you can do this and level up up to almost level three. That's right. All right, great. I think we're going to get ourselves a washing, a bathing. Um, so let's deactivate this for now and let's do this for now. But, um, let's get a wench first. This is how they say it in this game, wench. It uh, still sounds a little bit odd to me. Every time I see sages, like, oh, I want to pick it up. Because in Red Tide there was so much. And, uh, and it's good to make money in the beginning. Not so much right now. But. All right, but we should have money. And that's good. So let's see. You, I need to talk to you. I'd like to uh, order something here. <laughs> He's and so what shy. is it you'd like? <laughs> uh, well, we go for the full Monty. I've uh, heard you have nice girls here. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. All right. So I think we should always haggle. I'm it's good for speech. And how much are you willing to pay? It's more on like, it's not so much making money of it, but let's do 35. And then we settle what in between. What do you say to this? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Alright. So we go with her and we don't have any problems. You won't regret spending the money. I guarantee it. <gasps> oh. Alright. So. Hmm. Thanks girl. Who are you? Oh, just a bait mate. Alright. Don't want to run immediately away. Let's unlock this. Oh, don't break, don't break. Uh, there we go, nice. Uh, let's spend that point immediately. And uh, let's do it in, yeah, let's do it in this one, that's fine. We have some stuff, we have some main level, but I don't think there's anything that I want right now. There's some groschen in here, yeah. Let's grab that. And since we're here, we can actually sleep here if you like now. Let's see, are we alone? I think we are. Yeah, it's not bedtime yet. Right. Let's see. Each time we do this, it gets easier. Lock picking. Right, so anything in here? No? Okay, let's go. Oh, it's really dark. So we've got this buff now, it's just pretty good, um, let's see, the buff is the alpha male, and it gives us two charisma for a whole day, it's great, and our clothing is clean as well, should be, yeah, it's a bit tattered, but oh well, alright, let's see, we have to go this way, uh, we can jump, oh there's a bridge over here. Yeah, and there's a little path up ahead. So let's take that. Do do some flower picking just to get that strength up a little bit. It only gives you um, one XP strength, but 
That's all right. That's up. It definitely adds up. So that's fine with me. I'm not going to pick every single flower, but if there's a bunch, maybe I will. All right. Um, do I need a torch? Not really at the moment. Great. So I can follow this path upwards. I nearly completely, let's say for 99% fixed the FPS problems. And I think I'm going to make a video of that because that took me some time to figure it out. And yeah, you have to tweak the game engine. That's in essence what it comes to. Make a user a config file and all that good stuff. All right, so this is where the executioner lives. We have to go this way first to the gallows. Let's discover that. And we have to dig that grave. But oh, I forgot the shovel. Well, shit. Doesn't really matter. Did I discover it? I think it did. Doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to break in and get that ring anyway. But I don't know if the executor is still outside, but we'll know soon enough. Alright. Let's go sneaky sneak. Do I wear anything that can... Oh yeah, I've got lots of stuff that... Let's see. Um, that reduces noise, I wanted to say. The noise is 38, that's a lot. Um, what could cause that? Twenty-two. Still a little bit strange. Eighteen. Damn. Uh, four. Oh, that was a lot. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Let's see where the dogs are and where the executioner is. It's a pig over here. Two piggies, okay. In oh, there's a dog coming. Shit, 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 shit. Ooh, does he see? It? I think he sees us. Shit. Maybe he turns around. Oh fuck. All right. Need to wait till until he turns around and is not alerted anymore. Where's that dog? Don't see him. I think he went into the shed. Okay. Let's go quickly. He, he probably isn't there or he's asleep. Let's see. Hopefully he's not hearing us, else we have to get the hell out of here. Let's do this quickly. Oh, come on. Okay, he didn't hear that. What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. Go, go, go. All right, we got it. Nice. Let's go back to the miller. I think we're fast travel. There we go. Okay, we should be able to hand that in and then go to bed. All right, you. God be with you. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring for Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. And I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. You'll buy stolen goods from me. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. 
can you tell me? All right, let's go over this. What um, about the Scalitz folk? God sent them to punish us for our sins. Only they do this once. All the others I will skip. And you want to keep a close eye on your belongings when they're around. I'll be glad to see the back of them. He's harsh, man. All right. Uh, you get speech for this. So. What do you think about everything yeah. that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters. But this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king, but that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. True. Do you know anything about those Cumans? The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You've seen with your own two eyes what they're capable of. That's all. All right. Um, so goods that will be later. Pickpocketing. We do that another time. All right. Else it takes all too long. Um, don't have to talk to her. So let's have a quick sleep. Have a nap. Because we can now activate this. We can, can wait. That's fine. We can activate awakening. All right. This is new, so you can sleep over here normally, or you can sleep in safe. I'm not even sure if it uses a potion. Oh, and by the way, I, the last video I ended up having this nightmare looted stuff for all my corpse in the nightmare, but you don't get that, unfortunately, even though you, that you pick it up. Um, let's see, savory potion, savory snaps. I've got four, and let's see if it uses one, if I do this. It's almost like Skyrim that you want to sleep till 8 o'clock in the morning. In this game it's 9. And the reason being is that shops open at 9, so you might as well. Alright, there we go. And we stand up immediately. That's oh, one thing I like as well. So we, let's take all these sweet pancakes. So I think we haven't eaten enough actually. And once it has been midnight we should be able to eat. No, that proved me wrong. Good stuff. It doesn't really matter because after that bath we just took, we're just fine. All right, see you later, Teresa. Let's get to. Let's see where we have to go. Yeah, let's go here. Let's go to first time to Sir Radzik. Have a word with him. Oh, so good that you can finally now play the game and roam free. That's one of the best aspects of this game: the free roaming. The fighting, I like archery. That's what this playthrough is going to be. A lot of archery. For sure. Um, I'm still... Thinking about using either the command to... Make that ridicule not disappear. Did I actually... Did I equip my weapons? Actually, I didn't. Can I use this? Yes, I can. And use the hazel and use the long distance. All right. <coughs> so if we do this, the ridicule disappears. Yeah, it's too frustrating to work with. And I can do two things. I can either use the cheat, uh, like this, WH. Uh, let's do it small. Uh, PL, show fire curse or one. There you go. And if I switch now to my bow, it still has that one. Either I can do that, or you just stick a little dot on your monitor. It's the same thing. Almost the same thing. So, um, we'll see. All right. Am I still hungry? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Always a little bit laggy when you enter a red eye. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? Let's do this for speech. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith, and I need to it won't speak... work. It's my job to no. stop you, the bugger off. <laughs> I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. I forgot something. Um, to 
book my clothes on. Yeah, something like this. Right. So let me go quickly get my stuff sorted out. I always walk calmly here because the lag. Once you're here, I don't know why it's lagging, but it does. Right, let's go in here. Right. Fresh fresh. Right. Jesus Christ be praised. Okay, let's do repairs. And let's repair everything. I have enough money, but let's haggle, of course. I'd like to discuss the price. Well, we can try it. <laughs> He's not convinced. Uh, I will have a lot of money later on. Uh, let's do 10 off. Maybe it's a little bit too much. We'll see. Are we agree? Probably pisses him off. That's a poor offer. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, anything he offers us, that's what we have to pay. That's a sum I can live with. Alright, I think we look a little bit better. Yeah, a little bit better. Everything is 100% though. Oh, that seems okay. Maybe we can sell something as well. Um, let's do this like that. Get rid of this stuff. All right, and we have to haggle again. I'd like to discuss the price. Speech is a big thing in this sure. game. Why not? Oh, he sounds a little bit better. Let's go. That probably is a poor offer. Let's try this. Is this enough? That sounds pretty interesting. All right. A little less and I'll be satisfied. Well, that's a decent price. Not hassle. I go to March. Lovely cucumbers. Lovely cucumbers. No, thank you. Um, yeah, we have to go to Pakistan. Let's do that right away. We have to go up. I'll probably get stopped again here. Could that be the Smith's son, Hal? On my soul, it is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Do we have to go all the way up? I don't think so. Excuse me. What the frick is he looking at? Damn. Yeah, it must be here. No, it isn't. Mm -mm. Um. Must be here at the end of the hall. Yeah. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush. 
but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Birkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Birkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial Crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the King neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. Oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor. And a dead man keeps no promises. Aye woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge what kind of fool are you boy he's no fool 
Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion! Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear, you're the one paying him. <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Oh, what's where you going? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so random. All right, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, not sure if actually if it's saved. So let's just save just to make sure. There we go. Cool. Stay tuned for the next episode coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.